So, hello Loveland. I've got two really special guests today. And uh, Tony Morrison, uh, the founder of Ben Ben's more the Ben Morrison Foundation. And I've got Kate Jackson. Kate's on the board of the foundation. Correct. And uh, they've got a new uh, initiative started. So mostly want to talk about that today. But uh, Kate, uh, tell viewers why you got involved. And then I'll let Tori talk about the foundation and what it is. And then we'll talk about Ben's way. But how'd you get involved? Um, Tori asked me to be on the board because my son Bailey played football with Ben and um, we got close over the years and Ben was an important part of my son's life and an important part of my life and Tori became likewise an important part of my life. So, And you were a football mom for Ben. I was the team mom for the, the high school varsity okay, football team the, when Ben and team. Bailey played football, yes. So you probably hosted dinners and stuff like that? Yes, we did lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, Tori, tell us about the foundation. Tell us about Ben uh, and, and why that got started. And then we'll ask you about Ben's way and what that is. Okay. So the foundation obviously started after Ben passed away. He took his life in uh, 2021. And um, honestly, it started for selfish reasons. We wanted a way to remember his name. We wanted people to remember him. We wanted to carry on his legacy. So I contacted the school and said, hey, can we do these scholarships? And they were like, yes, whatever you need to do, you can do. So the first year we gave out three scholarships and it was really just myself and my daughter working on it, doing everything. And after about a year, she came to me and said that she needed to kind of step away. She has four kids. Um, and so she needed to do more with her kids and didn't mm. have the time to devote. And so I started looking at my friend base and um, because I thought, who do I want to work with? But people that I know and people that knew Ben and people that this will mean something to. Like I want it to mean, I don't want someone coming on the board that has no idea who Ben was and, mm -hmm. and that whole thing. So I started, you know, going through my list of friends and obviously Kate and the others that I chose were right up there at the top. And so we kind of joined together and um, started doing other things. We started doing the mental health awareness games. We started funding things with Hope Squad. And um, this community, I think I've told you before, has just been phenomenal with the support that they've given us. And it's with their support that we've been able to expand and do so many other things. You gave out a ton of scholarships last uh, spring. In total, in three years, we've given out 21. So we gave out three, nine, and nine. Yeah. And I was really happy this past year, we, we extended it beyond sports. So typically we would just give a lacrosse and a football scholarship because that's what Ben played. We extended it to someone who volunteered for us. Um, and ended up giving two scholarships for that this year because we found that, you know, with the golf outing, the golf kids volunteer. Mm. With a lot of our mental health events, all the Hope Squad kids volunteer. Um, and so we thought, well, they need a way to be recognized too and have an option to get a scholarship because we appreciate them. And um, so that's where that all came in. And then we're just constantly trying to find new things that we can do. Uh, one of our board members had the idea this year that what if we could present every middle school and every high school kid with a mechanical pencil and on the pencil it says uh, 988 uh -huh. as a reminder to them and it tells them to continue their story which is our tagline and so I love when the board comes to me with these ideas because it's you know it's great and so that was a way that we we did that we handed out I mean I let the schools do it we didn't personally go hand them out but um, the Hope Squad kids at the high school and the middle school handed them out to every student. And um, it's just that reminder in their hands that someone cares about them, that there's a number available for them to call. And so when Kate brought me the idea that she was formulating in her head, I was all for it. And that idea was? Ben's way. Ben's way. <laughs> so, uh, and, and I don't want to um, forget, I want to say Ben Morrison quite a few times. Because I've learned that parents really want to hear their child's name, and it's important to them. Yeah. 
So I'll say Ben Morrison, Ben Morrison. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Is, is Ben's way in both the high school and the middle school? Right now it's only it's in the only high school. only in the high school. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell people what it is. Um, we learned this year as we got the scholarship recipients that the, the children that were submitting the scholarships no longer knew Ben. And it was important for us to continue to hear Ben's name and to continue to be able to spread Ben's story. So thinking about that, um, I spent a day volunteering at the school last year. We sponsored a petting zoo for the high school during Hope Week. I wanted you Hope to tell Week. the story. Yeah. And um, I watched a child spend the entire time at the petting zoo helping a special needs child instead of playing on their phone or eating their lunch or being with their friends, they spent the entire time making sure that this child enjoyed their time with the petting zoo. And I thought, well, number one, that's something Ben would do. And number two, this child should be recognized for doing something so positive in a world today that's not always so positive. So in collaboration with Tori, talking about how the scholarships would no longer be just about Ben and that this child was doing something that represented something that Ben would do, we were trying to figure out a way to, to recognize children that did things Ben's way. And um, GE Credit Union was gracious enough to offer um, us some money to be able to fund this program. And we are uh, giving out gift cards to children, young adults. Young adults. <laughs> in the high school. Uh -huh that um, represent things that Ben would have done Ben's way. And uh, the, uh, the spies are teachers. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a mix. We, um, Kate and I sat down and talked about it. Kate graduated from Loveland and obviously had kids there. And I've been around Loveland. My oldest is 38. So we kind of like know a lot of the educators and stuff. So we actually have one teacher that knew Ben very well. We have an aide. Um, we have a uh, office staff person, we have an admin, and then we have another support staff person. And I always say support staff because if I say what she right. does, it'll yes. give it away. <laughs> um, and nobody knows who they are except they know each other. Um, but not even the principal knows. He didn't, he didn't want to know who they were. So they are on the lookout and know that at any time they see someone exhibiting uh, representing Ben's way, they can submit that person's name and what they saw them do um, to be considered for one of the gift cards. And, and then at the end of the month, you're going to have a breakfast? Yes. Where they, the people that got the recognition will gather and have donuts, yeah. breakfast. And yeah. we will be able to meet them as yes. well. That we oh, good. an opportunity yeah. to get to know and them. Get a picture and, you know, yeah. all that good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to glance over here. In my notes here, um, yeah. But one of the things I saw on the website was that uh, the quote: uh, "Look for good in action and light it up." Yeah. I really like that. Yep. So. We have a great person on our board, Megan Hogan, that takes all of my feelings and translates them into beautiful oh, world, words. Yeah. And uh, she's the one who came up with our, our card that they'll be getting. And if you don't mind, I'd like to read it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it says, "Hello, friend." We wanted you to know we see you representing Ben's way. Ben spoke up for others. He was unselfish, a leader, and protector. A young person who led by example and modeled hard work and resilience. Ben treated others with acceptance, kindness, and encouragement. Ben, or sorry, people like you and Ben make the world a better place. Keep it up. And that will be given to the student by the principal. Correct. So Along that with a keeps gift everybody, card. everybody anonymous, your spies. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> our spies. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I also read yesterday that you just got an announcement about an organ uh, recipient. Can you, you want to talk about that? Yeah, um, this person, like we were told almost within a few weeks, um, vague information about the five major people that received donations from Ben. Um, they, they don't give you, you know, like they don't even tell you what area of the country they're from, but they give you broad things about the person, like if they were suffering from, I know there was a girl um, 
who was out of school because of dialysis, and she got one of Ben's kidneys and was able to go back to school wow. for the end of the school year. So, but it's vague, right? I don't uh -huh. know anything else about her. Um, and so this gentleman had contacted me a few times. You can contact through Life Center, which is who we use for donation. Um, you, so the organ recipient sends something to Life Center. Life Center then sends it to me. And then I can send back to Life Center, who then sends to him. And so it's this all process until you agree that you'll go face-to-face -face or one-on-one. -on -one. Uh -huh. And for two years, I hadn't been able to do it. I hadn't been able to write him back. I couldn't. I've tried many times. I had it sitting in a document ready to go. And I even called Life Center at one point, and I said, you know, this gentleman is so sincere. I love that he's contacting me. Can you just let him know to keep it up and not be discouraged that I'm not writing back because I yeah. just can't do it yet? And so finally, he sent me a message again, and I just finally said, I'm going to do it. And so I sent my email that I, the same one I had prepared, I didn't change a word on it. <laughs> I sent that off to Life Center, and I said, please give this to him along with the email address for the Ben Foundation and he's welcome to contact me as well as any other recipients that would ever ask. And almost instantly I got an email from him and he's just as genuine as you, as any parent could hope that the recipient would be. Um, he is grateful, he acknowledges my loss, he knows what we had to give up for him to continue to live. And to me that's huge. Um, I mean, he was, he, was, he was on his deathbed. He had, you know, days to live and didn't think that he would ever get and what he needed, and he got a liver and a kidney from wow. Ben. And um, he's walking around and spreading the good message about organ donation. And um, he, he hasn't been able to say Ben's name until now. I think his daughter had kind of researched and figured it out. Oh, um, but he has been respectful and not send Ben's name till now. And uh, once I gave him the go ahead, he can now say Ben's name and, and share that. And so that's really as nice as well. And he immediately got on our foundation page and ordered one of the Ben shirts. Hey, th um, thanks for sharing that. I, yeah. I sprung this on for <laughs> Yeah. And then I can tell it's hard for you to talk about. Yeah. So I really appreciate it. I, I apologize mean, for... No, it's okay. It's such an important thing, you know. It's such an important thing to be an organ donor. And I feel like my husband and I didn't hesitate with the decision that that's what we wanted to do. And then we found out Ben had signed up to be one. So that just even, you know, solidified our decision even more. But um, it's so important to do. And it's... It's such a hard thing, though. I remember sitting at the hospital that day, and and I looked at Donnie, and I just said, you know, today is the worst day of our lives, but this is potentially the best day of so many other people's lives. Wow. And it was. It was the best day for at least five other people that I know of. And um, so I just, I'm content with that decision that we did that. I'm happy that we did. Um, I hope more reach out and connect with us at some point when they're ready, but I also respect that it's, yeah. and I don't know that the rest of my family is ready for this. And I made sure to tell the the person that received his, his liver and kidney that, that, you know, this was a one-on-one -on -one with me. The rest of the family needed to do it at their pace. Um, the other thing I have on my notes here is about, uh, and we can we can just put it in the story, but I want to put in the story about how people can help. Uh, can they become sponsor of the organization, the Ben Morrison Fund or mm -hmm. Ben's Way? Yeah. And then I want to make sure we get any kind of future events yeah. in so people can yeah. support those. So one thing I want to say about Ben's Way is this was not me or Kate deciding what Ben's Way was we pulled all of these attributes from um, scholarship applications from people over the years. These were all things that 
other people said about Ben. Oh. They weren't things that like I said as a mom, this is, you know, this is Ben because I would have told you he was rotten, you know. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean well, you know, he, he, he just was rotten. Like, and, and, and the story I'll use to tell you that is I asked him for months if he had signed up to be an organ donor because I told him I thought it was important and he would never share that with me. And then we got to the hospital because he liked to tease Did me. Did he do it through his getting a driver's yes, license? Yeah. So that's something that everybody get asked. Right. I, yeah. Gets asked, I think. So yes. Good. And I asked him if he did it and he would not tell me because he knew I wanted him to do it. And that's what I, I mean about he was I rotten. And so it was just this kind of little, you Not know. that my children are like this. <laughs> I just know people like this. Right. So, so that's what I mean about, um, you know, this all came from scholarship applications, these attributes of Ben. It was the resounding theme over and over again. It's not something that, you know, like Kate or I made up or someone else made up about Ben and trying to glorify his behavior or anything like that. This is what people that he was around most of the time knew that he was like. Um, as far as getting involved, we are always looking for sponsors for different events. We Our biggest event is the golf outing, which we've already had. Uh, we have an event at Cappy's coming up at the end of this month on Saturday the 30th. I think one of my favorite bands is playing. Uh, Chucky's in Love. Yes, yes we partnered really with good. them. This group really <laughs> loves music. They're really they dedicated do. to music. And not they're, only that, but good. the lead singer works in mental health. Really? And we I did not know that until oh. I connected with her and asked her if it would be okay if we oh. piggybacked on her night. Because I love that band. And uh, so earlier in the year, we did one with Low Country Boyle, which is Rob Reese's mm -hmm. band, another band I love. And um, Me too. He's been a huge supporter of our foundation as well. And so... And Rob's a love high school men's basketball correct. coach. Correct, yes. And then um, I thought, well, the other band I would want to do would be Chucky's in Love. And so I just reached out to him on Facebook and asked him, because I just thought it would be better to ask him if it's okay, you know, if that we partner with you that night. And... She wrote me back and said that she was in mental health and she just couldn't wait to do this. And oh, so great. throughout the summer, I've gone a few times when they're at Cappy's and we always talk and chat for a minute. And so they're very excited about this event. Um, we'll have a few things to raffle off, but mostly it's just come and have a drink. And um, Ben at Cappy's will donate a dollar from every drink. I actually have a video of them on a lot of a magazine playing at Cappy's. Mm -hmm. I don't have to remember to put this with the store so so you can see the band. Yeah. Uh, and I just think they're really talented. They're awesome. They yeah. are. And they just yeah. play the just, best music. What a treasure music, yeah. you know? to find here in, in Loveland yeah. uh, on a Friday, Saturday night. Yep. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to hold on to this too. Yes. Because I, I want to make sure these uh, attributes get put in the story. Yep. Uh, anything else? No, we appreciate your time. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. And uh, thank you for watching, Loveland. Uh, see you next time. Thanks. Good. Thank you.